Now, the next step is to add uh, obstacles so that it can, it, it can only go through the obstacles that are the right color. How do we do this? Well, we already have one obstacle here. And uh, what we want to add is a line of obstacles. Right now, I have one, but I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to create an empty game object. So game object, create empty. All right, and I'm going to I'm going to create um, uh, a horizontal bar for the obstacle, and I'm going to call this one horizontal bar. There we go. Now that I have it, I need to take the rectangle, which is the red rectangle, and put it inside. All right, and I'm going to rename this red rec the rectangle to red rectangle. Okay, and what I want to do is make it a lot thinner. How do I do this? Well, I just have to change the scale on the Y axis. Okay, as you can see, if I take the scale to be 0.3, that looks pretty good. Now you can leave the scale at 1, 1. Okay, great. But I want to put the position of this at 0, 0, 0. Okay, 0, 0, 0. And what I want to do is only move the horizontal bar up and down with the Y axis. And I'm going to move it right there. Okay. Now, the next step is to um, be able to duplicate this bar. But before I even do so, what I want to do is add a rigid body on this. Uh, I'm sorry, a box collider so that we can we know whenever we collide with it. So how do we do this? Well, what we can do is um, select the red rectangle and add a box collider by clicking on Add Component. And then here, you can just type Box Collider. Here it is, but take the 2D one, it's a, it's a 2D game. There we go. You can always go to the scene and see that we have a box collider that's around it, and it's exactly what we want. It's perfectly around the bar. Good. Now, what we want, we, um, if I press play, um, there's one problem, is that the object will not go through it because we just created, see, it's like blocking there because it's a physical object now, and that's not what we want. We want the object to go through it. And to be able to go through it, we need to click on the Box Collider 2D is trigger. And now I can go through it. Check this out. I'm going to press play. And this goes through the object. All right, excellent. However, something else that's missing is that I want to know whenever this object collides with the other. And since we added a trigger, we can add a script that, that checks if this uh, gets triggered against the other collider. And uh, what I want to do first is select the sphere and add a tag to it. So select the tag here and add a new tag called player. Actually, the tag should already be there because by default, Unity knows that you're making games. And it knows that technically, if it's a game, there will be a player, right? So go ahead and select, select the player for the tag and save that. 